guys, it's Shell with Creative Shell Bear Little Acres Creations. And today we're going to do another uh, Christmas craft. And today we're just going to make a little card. So let me show you what I did. This is from Rustic Christmas. Can't remember who it's from. So I just cut this down. And I'm kind of doing like a, uh, a really country looking card. So here's my background. This is my card base right here. And what I did is I just took an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And I cut that in half at 5.5. And, and we have an A2 card. Okay. And then I took some green. And I really like this. I think it's really neat. It's like peeled paint. And then I have some red that um, has a little bit of snowflakes in it. So I'm going to set that aside. And we're going to... Let me show you what we're going to do. Okay, so I have the other half of that um, piece that I cut down. Okay, and on this piece of paper, because this is the same color as the card base, I wanted to do the cowl to kind of bring in that color. You can pick that up at littleacrescreations.com. Okay, and I'm just going to use some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And we're just going to... Want a really good impression and we're just going to stamp him on here and then I'm going to fussy cut him out. Isn't that so cute? I love this cow. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to fussy cut him out and I'll be right back. Okay, so now he's cut out and I'm just taking just a sharpie and I'm going to go around the edges just to give him a really clean look. So I'm just going to go around the edges. And when you're doing this, you kind of want to come from the back. And I know I say that quite often. But if you come from the front and your hand slips, then you will mess up your whole fussy cutting. Because, <laughs> you know, see how I kind of left right there so you just want to make sure you come from the back and this just kind of gives it a really clean look like you did a perfect cutout okay let me show you on the tail the tail was a little hard to cut out so it wasn't a perfect um, cut so I'm just going to color in the tail and then do my edges and that gives it a better completed look and then go around the edges and he cute now I got this idea from um, my design one of my design team ladies and she has been making these really cute uh, Christmas cards using uh, the hey there cow so if you guys are interested in seeing that when I was watching her videos you know you just kind of get ideas for your own I thought this was really cute okay so now I want more black in my cow so I'm just going to bring in some circles I just like the spotted look on the cow Just a little bit up here on the head. I think I'm going to cut color the little. I really don't know what this part is called, so I call it a toupee. <laughs> it may not show, but if it does, I want it colored. There we go. I love this cow. He is so cute. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so I have my card base. Okay, and I'm going to use some art glitter glue and I'm going to tack down my layers using art glitter glue. 
I'm just putting my green layer on first. Okay, and then on this red piece, I just have a piece of ribbon, just a red ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and tack that across the, kind of about a third of the way up from the bottom. I just like to add different dimensions and stuff to my cards, and I have so much ribbon. <laughs> so I try to use it whenever I get, get the chance which is pretty much all the time. Okay. And again, I'm just using some art glitter glue. This is perfect glue for this. There's all kinds of places you can find this online. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to just um, use some more art glitter glue and just tack this down onto the green piece. And that just kind of adds just a little bit. Um, I, I like the dimension and the, you know, just the different, um, what's it called? I like just the different, um, <clears throat> I like to just add different textures and stuff so okay so here's our little cow <laughs> and see it just brings in you know the background of the card I think that you know kind of puts it all together and stuff and I just think it's so adorable okay so now I'm going to use some foam dots and I'm just going to kind of put it I don't really want them in the center of him I'm going to put them on the top and on the bottom just so that um, he clears that ribbon so it's a little bit easier for me to put it where I need it to go. So I'm going to say about right there. Because that ribbon puts a little bit of bulk on it and I want him to kind of lay flat. So let me cut just a little piece to put on his tail. Oops. <laughs> Guess it'd work if I took the backing off the little pieces here. Okay, and then we're just going to stick him right about here. And see, that just fits perfect. It kind of sits there just perfectly. Isn't that adorable? I love watching and seeing what the, you know, the design team comes up with for these uh, for my stamp sets okay so let me show you I didn't have any hats so what I'm gonna do for this really cute one I'm just gonna cut him out and cut the hat off and use that hat and that's another tip from Terry just kinda where you use what's in your stash Okay, and I'm going to stick this little 
pat down on just some cardstock that will give it some stability and it was a little too long so I'm just going to cut off that one edge and just trim around it that'll give it some stability they're really really thin stickers and you don't want it to you know mess up when you're in the when you mail it And then we're just going to put it right there on the little cow. And just trim it just a little bit more on this side. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Okay, so now I'm just going to put a couple of foam dots under the sticker. That way it's the same height dimension as the cow is. <laughs> I think this is such a cute little idea. Okay, so I'm going to put him right there. Isn't that adorable? I love the little cow with the little um, hat on. He just looks so cheerful. And <laughs> Okay. So from that same stamp set, since I have a, some little um, stickers and stuff, I'm going to use some of these. I'm going to put use this one just to kind of hang from his little neck. I just thought that would be really cute. Kind of add just a little bit of um, green to the top of the page. And I have a few little snowflakes. I'm going to add those. just to kind of get it all completed and everything. Okay, so now the last thing I'm going to do is I need a little sentiment. So I'm going to use this Merry Christmas. It's just a little gold Merry Christmas from some more stickers. <clears throat> and I'm just going to pop that down right there. And that is the card for today. I think it's really cute it's really whimsical and just fun you know so thank you guys so much for watching head on over to little acres creations on Facebook go look at the link for Terry down below and then you can see what she's been doing with this cute little stamp set and again the stamp set is available at my online store littleacrescreations.com so head on over there if you're interested in getting the stamp set Head on over, look at Terry's website and see what she's been doing with this really cute stamp set for Christmas. And we are having a contest on our Facebook page. And any of the cards, any card that you do that is related to Christmas will be entered into a draw. This month is a $10 gift card to my online store. So thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a great day.